Gran Turismo 7, they added the shortest time trial they have done so far. It is this, the Nismo 380 RS around Broad Bean Raceway. I'm yet to set a lap, so let's just jump in and do a lap without any practice. Because how hard can it be? Just looking at the track map, there are only four corners and you only have to turn left once. But on a circuit so short, there is actually a bit more complexity to it than you might initially believe. Namely because of the banked corners. And we do have this sequence of corners. I've gone quite low here to begin with. This right into the left, back into the right is actually quite a tricky little sequence to get right. And how I did it just there, I do not think is the perfect way. Then we have the braking zone. Only have to brake once on this lap. And that was my first lap. Let's see what it's going to be. So there it is. 33 seconds for my first lap. I guess I just clickbaited you. Sorry about that. But in all seriousness, let's take a look. That puts me 5.2% off of the top time. And this is actually very interesting because this is such a short track. You only have to turn left once. It's only got four corners. The difference between the gold silver and bronze is actually very close if you want a reference of how short this track is let's jump into the fastest car in the game and head to northern isle speedway because around here you can do you can do a seven second lap around it Broad Bean Raceway is actually the second shortest track in the game. Let's see how quickly you can do it in this car. You can do it in 12 seconds. You probably can do it quicker than that. It gives you an idea of how short this track is in a ridiculously fast car. Let's jump back into the time trial. I need to try and shave off about seven tenths of a second to get a gold. Let's see if I can do it. So the main thing was that I don't think my line was quite right. Pretty much everywhere. I think I could save time anywhere. And to be honest, I wasn't actually completely sure on the best line through most of these corners, given that they are banked. And on banked corners, there's lots of interpretations of the best line. You also have this difficult left-hander, which is not flat out in this car. But you do need to keep the speed up as much as possible. So I suppose with any time trial, it's a case of working out what works and working out what doesn't work. Let's see this first lap. Is it going to be an improvement? Slight, <laughs> not by much. Take it a bit higher this time. Come back for a later apex. This should give me a better angle for this left. Carry more speed through. Slight improvement again. Let's see if we can get a 32. I should be able to. Oh, there goes the ghost. Let's try and hold this very wide. Until the last moment. Okay, got to ride that banking. That's better. And a better exit. So that's a 32.9. I need to go... What's that? A few more turns quicker. Get really close to that wall. There we go. That's much better. And you've got to be brave here. Believe that the grip will come through the bank's corner. Felt like a good line. It's going to be a much quicker time. 32.627. I think that's gold. Let's take a look. And it is. 
32.627, within 2.78% of the top. Amazingly, I'm still 9 tenths of a second away from the number one time in the world. So I guess it only makes sense to go and watch this top time and see what we can learn. Okay, right, first corner. Goes in actually very narrow. Comes back up in fourth gear the whole time. Comes back down for that late apex. Over to the right. Slight lift through the left. Rotates the car with a gear shift. Back on the power. Braking just before the 75. And you do actually go low there. I'm right up against the wall. You can see, just as the car comes off of that apron at the bottom, it just slightly rotates and it gives him the turning angle he needs. And then, oh my goodness. I mean, that's pretty impressive. That just shows you the precision required to get a top time. So we're going to have to really practice this late entry into this corner, that left. I mean, I'm not sure if I've paused that in exactly the right place, but you can see that it is very close indeed. And you know what? It's always really impressive to see these top times, just how precise they are with every input. But I'm within 2.78% of the top. Normally, I set myself a challenge of getting within one5 so let's try and shave off a bit more time. So what I'm going to do is do my personal best ghost, but put it slightly ahead by a few tenths. And let's see if we can get at least down to a low 32. Okay, let's jump into this. Bearing in mind everything we've just learned, including the laps I just did, and of course the number one time replay. Let's jump into our first lap of this session, trying to improve upon a 32.627. So taking this narrower line, but going up the banking mid corner to then come back for a later apex, not quite meeting it there. Through the left, really throwing the car in aggressively. Again, not quite meeting the apex, but this is only the first lap. So this is all part of the process. And then come up to the final corner, break on the 75 trail braking into the apex and then back off the brakes onto the power to come across the line in a 32.893 roughly a quarter of a second slower than the personal record so that's a decent start i suppose let's just try to get into a rhythm you can see here gaining on the ghost on the exit of the right certainly through the left and that's the thing we really need to be watching out for that's the reason why you have a ghost really is to Use it as a barometer, see where you're gaining and see where you're losing and then piece together the lap. I need to take these lines through these corners, etc, etc. So another improvement, 32.777 on lap number two. So edging closer to the PB and uh, gaining a lot through the exit of the first corner and through the left. There's definitely a lot of time to be gained. I'm not quite taking the lines perfectly or getting on the power as early as I could but this is what comes with time and it's never really a case of just jumping on for the first lap and smashing it in one go okay right 32.71 another slight improvement still slower than the personal record but we are slowly edging towards it because I got such a bad exit out of the final corner that has compromised my lap here lap number four I'll continue anyway and see if we can gain throughout the remainder of the lap, see if we can learn anything, especially through this final corner, which I sense is a corner where if you get it dead right, there is a lot of time to be gained, as we do actually gain a lot here, given the ghost hits the wall. It's not going to be an improvement because of the start of the lap, but we do know that we just need to not hit the wall on the exit of the final corner and we should improve that's a much nicer exit of the final corner that's getting a lot closer to the apex of the left the only left on the track and uh, that's good to see right up behind the ghost so if we're right up behind the ghost like this we've definitely gained on it through the final corner let's try not to hit that final the wall on the exit and we've done exactly that right 32.385 
and that's an improvement by about a quarter of a second over our personal best so that's good that's not a small amount really a quarter of a second especially on a circuit which is barely over 30 seconds long that was a very nice left-hander really throwing it in aggressively keeping the power pinned down that was a bit too much uh, there keeping the power pinned down through the exit of the right and grazing the wall we do get a very good exit here though on the exit of the final corner and it's going to be an improvement and that's very interesting at 32 349 given that i hit the wall and still improve the lap so we can definitely go quicker than this and uh, we're now as you can probably tell by about the seventh lap here just beginning to really get into the rhythm here understanding the lines i need to take you see the ghost there accelerate way too early into the wall loses the momentum i actually grazed the wall as well on this lap through the final turn lap number seven let's try to avoid the wall on the exit don't miss the shift up to fourth before the line and that's the first lap in the point twos 32.293 i did target a low 32 i'd say we're pretty much there but we can definitely go quicker than this that again is even closer to the apex of the left so we are slowly but surely improving our technique here into this last turn carrying the brakes in as late as we dare back onto the power the ghost does get a better exit but it is going to be another improvement down to a 32.260. So this is really good. This is a very good session. It took a while to get going. But we are improving pretty much every lap for the last four laps here. Let's see if lap number nine is going to bring us any more improvement. A tenth down nearly through the first split. Didn't really get good purchase through that first corner. And then the last turn, turn number four here at BB Raceway, uh, Raceway, Broad Bean Raceway, I mean what a name that is, crossing the line, it's not going to be an improvement, 32.3, let's go again, lap number 10, again riding high, looking for those two green markers on the wall, then coming back down to touch nearly that green apron on the right hand side, that really gives you a good angle into the left where you can carry so much speed through, trying to ride quite low on the banking here through turn number 3, that was an okay line, but we are slightly down here by half a tenth into turn four. That was a very nice line through the final corner. Quite happy with that. It is going to be an improvement once more. 32.233. Chipping away slowly but surely. And this is going to be the, the story here. Around BB Raceway, such a short track. The, the differences are going to be very, very small indeed. And of course, if you can improve by even just half a tenth, I mean, that is a big amount through such a short track and it's going to put you many, many hundreds of positions higher on the leaderboard. So any improvement is worth getting. And uh, end of lap number 11 here. It was an okay lap, 0.004 away. For some reason here, I have a bit of a brain lapse. You can see I gain initially, but this low line just does not work because it really compromises your entry into the left and you just cannot get the, the the speed through the left so i don't know why i did that don't know why i tried that line it clearly is not the line to take so i know not to do that again so this lap is pretty much a write-off but again given that this is such a short track that's no issue because you're never too far away from starting another lap and going once more lap number 13 let's try and ride that high and it really gives you some good grip when you go high up on the banking. Come back down, get some good momentum through the left, into the right, off the power, and then back on it to really carry the speed around. And once again, the banking really does hook you in and really improve your cornering ability. And through turn four, it was a good lap. It was a very tidy lap. It's not going to be quicker, but it's going to be a 32 241. And this is good consistency here. So many laps now which are 32.2s and so good consistency around about our record pace this is a good sign definitely continue here another purple sector through sector one Let's see if we can hold this through to the end of the lap one corner left to go easier said than done of course going in about half a tenth up definitely closing up to the back of the ghost avoiding the wall on the exit and it is going to be an improvement 32.163 the first lap we've put into the point ones but i know there's still more time to come 
It might not be much, but there definitely is some room for improvement. And that was very close. The left-hander just getting a bit more brave with the the laps passing by. Just just really refining our technique and our turning in points and our breaking points to really get close to the walls. And you really do have to maximise every millimetre of the circuit if you really want to shave off those not even tenths, we're talking hundredths or thousandths around a track so short. That was not the line to take there, I don't know why I did that. And um, that's going to really compromise my entry. And coming off of turn one, into the left of turn two, into the entry of turn three, that sequence is very important. You get the exit of turn one wrong, your line through two and then your entry into three is completely off. So you do have to get that sequence correct. So that is a 32.4. And that is now considered a bad lap. So that definitely shows that we are making some inroads here into this time trial. At the beginning of the time trial, I could barely do a 0.7. So that is good news. Into the right. Just riding the apron at the bottom. Let's see if that really helps. Maybe not. Didn't really give me the grip I would have liked. Into turn four. Going very narrow there. So this lap was really one where we ran onto the apron at the bottom. It didn't really help me. But we're not going to completely rule out that possibility of it improving our possible lap time. Riding the banking high, very important. That's something we're learning here. I mean, we call it BB Raceway. B could stand for banking. It could also stand for barrier collision. So we're going to whip this forward here. And um, go to the next lap where we're going to serve this penalty. So yes, that lap is a write-off. You can still maybe learn something on that lap even though we're serving the penalty. But let's make sure we try and get a good exit here to restart the session and go once more. So lap 19 and lap 18, we can kind of forget about those. Let's try to get back into the rhythm. And I must say that this time trial, I really enjoyed it because it was such an unusual track. BB Raceway is one that just really doesn't feature much in this game at all. You don't really see it a lot. It rarely features in online modes. Uh, I've, in fact, I don't really ever recall an online daily race or an FIA race around this track. I mean, it would be quite a spectacle if they did a group three or four race around here. But um, in the time trial here, 32.044. For the first time into the zeros, very close to a 31. Let's not forget that the best time in the world is a 31.74. So we're about three tenths away from that. Not too much, but on a, on a track so short, you know, let's scale that up to maybe a 1 minute 30 lap time. We are still about a second away on a normally sized uh, track. So, end of lap number 21. This is going to be a 32.1. And like we spoke about earlier, we are slowly but surely improving what a bad lap time is. So a 32.1, and that's now a bad lap time for me. Whereas earlier on in the session, I was struggling to get a 32.1. So that definitely shows improvement we are understanding what is required to get this nismo car around this track as quickly as possible and this is really just a top tip gran turismo you just got to put the laps in and just pay attention to what is working and what is not working and if you just keep driving the same line and it's the wrong line then you're just never gonna improve but this is i think we've settled on the right line it's just about really absolutely nailing it to the absolute millimetre. So we're in that phase of the time trial now. Carrying some good speed on the exit there. And are we going to improve? Not quite, but we are very, very close here with the Ghost. On the exit of the final corner. It's not going to be an improvement here on lap number 23. But it is going to be a 32-0 once again. So that's good consistency. That's our second time into the zeros. Let's see if we can do it again. As we come down low at the exit of turn one, throw the car in, get as close to the wall as we can, carrying the speed through. Didn't quite get the angle on the way into turn three as we would have liked, but it's not a bad lap. Half a tenth down here into the final corner. It's going to require a miracle to get that back. We come close, actually. We do actually gain a few um, hundredths there, and actually that lap ends 0.00 away from being the uh, record so we're getting close three laps now 
into the zeros. Going purple. Just really, really pushing the limits now of the circuit, of the car. And we're getting close to what really is our limit. Into the final turn. Lap number 25 of this session. We've been going for nearly 15 minutes. Across the line we go. 32.1. That was a bad lap. We grazed the wall on the exit of the final corner. That is going to compromise this lap. But well, we're still going to continue and see what we can learn. You never know. You might nail every corner from here to the end. And it could still be an improvement. So you should always continue. As we ride high. Back on the power. More than a tenth down here into the final turn. Let's see if we can get a good exit here and set up lap number 27. Let's see what we can do then. Crossing the line. That's a 32.1. Pretty much a bad lap now. Let's go again. Ride high. Look for the two greens. Come back down. Look for the big green apron on the exit. Get close to that. Throw the car in before the gantry. Get close to the wall. Really hammering the power. Turn the car in. Down to third gear. Back to fourth. Back on the power. Really ride that banking to give you the grip. Braking on the 75. Trail brake in. Carry the speed in. Back off the brakes. Back on the power. That is an improvement. Let's see what it's going to be. Get in there, Lewis. 31.9. It took me 15 minutes there to do that. Whew. How many laps did I do there? 27 laps. So, in fact, how many people have actually got a 31? Let's take a look. 262. And I'm one of them. I'm pretty happy with that. I've got to say congrats to this number one time. It's two and a half tenths. It's about a quarter of a second quicker than my time. And on such a short track, that is a big difference. I gave this one a good go. I mean, it only took about 20 minutes here, but that was a really fun time trial. And you know what? I think the time trial feature on Grand Turismo 7 is pretty good at the moment. At the beginning of the game, it wasn't actually there. But now that they're adding one every week, they last for two weeks. I think it's a really good part of the game and this was a good time draw it was a good car around an interesting circuit broad bean raceway it's not really a track that features much in the game in fact i think most of us probably don't really ever play this track all that much maybe in the license tests and some of the missions that it might feature in but other than that it basically never features in any of the daily races on the online or the fia races and so it was a good challenge, minimal amount of corners, only one left-hand corner, which was actually probably the most difficult corner on the track. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, then why not today? But either way,